it's time to jump right into it and get these spark plugs done. So, took the cover off just to do a quick inspection. Um, well, it doesn't look that bad. So, after I remove these covers, right, because you're going to have to, as you can see back here on the driver's side, um, that's one plug. There's another behind it and then two behind that. It doesn't look that hard. Uh, not going to lie, it's pretty close. Pretty close to the, um, the pillars, but this side looks fairly easy. Now, this side... It's another thing it's because one of the plugs is really really close to this so I can see why people say you need a ton of extensions and all that jazz um, also that battery needs to come out because honestly there's no way of getting back there without taking that battery out which sucks because on the last video you saw that I posted how to reset the doors if you ever take the battery out and now I have to do it again but um yeah man this is gonna be a a couple hour job right here and uh feels okay pretty pretty breezy out still hot i've been talking about trying to do this for a while and i just figured let's do it you know this is it the home stretch the last bit of work i get to do on my car before i sell it bought oem toyota spark plugs uh these were pretty expensive about 10 bucks a piece or more a little bit more so you're expecting to pay about a hundred dollars for this car it's eight of them man i really hate this freaking camera hello you see my face right see it it focuses on my face, which is pretty good, but it doesn't focus on the uh, part number. So, I don't know if you can see that. Alright, there you go guys. That's the, the part number right here. So, let's go ahead and start taking all this crap off and attempt to change these spark plugs. Oh, by the way, I have this here because my shocks aren't that great. So, they do wear over time. Car is over 10 years old. So, let's get to it. Oh man, that was super heavy. So, I gotta catch my breath here. Anyway, as you can see, battery gone, and you can get to a spark plug. That's probably going to be the easiest one of all of these. So that's one. There's two, which is really close. Three, also very close. Four, a lot easier, but very close. Strolling over to the driver's side. Um, yeah, it's going to be tricky to get the one back there, you can see. Oh, that shouldn't get like There you go. It's gonna be tricky to get to that one, but there is some space between the the booster and the master cylinder. Um, same with here, gonna be some some space issues, but we're gonna we're gonna work through it. Um, I'm gonna do this side first because it seems to be easier. So uh, hopefully this works well. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial. It's just kind of straightforward. You you know, clip it out. Um, some stuff might break unfortunately so you gotta be very gentle uh use like a little pick to try to pry the clips or something just be very careful with this part like i said plastics break easily on these cars over time so i'm gonna do my best uh remove it and you know yeah about 40 minutes I would say maybe 30 minutes but I'm having difficulty trying to get these bolts out you gotta unbolt brackets and wire harness and all this stuff just to get to these bolts and it's V8s are really really way too big for this engine bay but gotta do what you gotta do anyway um, battery is dying on the camera uh, I dropped a tool down there so I'm gonna go ahead and just push right through it here's the progress um, see all the spark plugs are out uh, I had to loosen this bracket right here to get that one out had to remove this to get the one back there out so uh, just get up, just look at everything and work through it so I'm gonna finish this side up and then we'll go back to that side afterwards working on the driver side still as you can see here so I got most of the spark plugs loose and all I have to do is just swap them out so Upon discovery, the spark plugs aren't that bad, surprisingly. Uh, if you're going to do this, ask for some help. Um, doing it by yourself is very tiring. It's very tedious. Bigger hand people, sorry man, this might not be the job for you. I've been at it for almost two hours. But we're going to go ahead and finish it. We have one more hour left to do this. And um, hopefully everything works well. Alright guys, battery's back in. Uh, everything's plugged up. So, moment of truth. I'm going to start this thing up right now. And hopefully everything runs smoothly.
there you go guys it runs finished the Lexus ISF spark plugs um, very tedious job took me about two hours to do but car runs a little bit smoother now one thing to note when I was doing the spark plugs I noticed a little bit of oil on the two rear cylinders so on both sides they did have a little bit of oil residue so just for those who have high mileage ISFs be aware that the tube seals will eventually go and probably the valve cover gaskets need to be replaced too so I do recommend getting that replaced at a higher mileage because um, it could go bad so right now it's fine for the time being either way the cars come along nicely so I hope you enjoyed this little segment um, this little video so yeah so stay tuned for the next video where I'm probably just gonna wash this car one last time and time lapse that and hopefully things go smoothly so see you in the next video peace